Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you guys how to make this text. It's very simple to do. So let's get right to it. So I will be including a PSD file for this and I will also be showing you guys what font to use. So, so first things first, you want to get the Pacifico font, which I'll be linking in the description. You want to type in style or any name you choose and you want to set the size to 231.04 points. So once you do that, you wanna click on blending options. Then you wanna to go to stroke. So the text should be centered and the size should be four. So the color name should be E85C64. Then you wanna click on bevel and emboss. Then you wanna make sure the style is pillow emboss. The technique is smooth, opacity is 100. Direction is up, size is 13, soften is four. So the angle should be 93, the altitude should be 41, then you want an anti alist and you want to select this contour, and you want to select this, then you want this to be 25%, color white, overlay, then you want the next one to be as multiply, right there, and you want it to be gray, hex code in the description, and that's for that. Now the next part is pretty simple, and it can be really hard, so you just want to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl J. Then you want to clear the layer styles and then you want to drag it underneath that layer you want to go to properties change the color to this lighter red that i have up here and um then you want to press ctrl j arrow down ctrl j arrow right and keep doing that until it gets thicker like that so once you do that you want to select all of them so then you want to press Control G and then Control E to merge them together. And then after that, you want to duplicate or name that first and then duplicate that and then press blending options for that. Go to color overlay, change that to the darker red that we have up there. And then you want to drag that underneath that red layer and you want to do the same thing you did for that red layer, how you got it thicker. And you want to just keep duplicating like I said. So then you want to select all of them and you want to press Ctrl G, Ctrl E to merge them. And then what you want to do is rename this to whatever you want. Then after that, you want to click on here, press blending option. Make sure that your color is black. Your blending mode is normal. Then you want to go opacity, Let's have it set to 15. Angle 90, use global light. Distance should be 14. Then spread should be 15. Size should be seven. And then you want your noise to be zero. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.